Okay, this is my uh, very original 79 Plymouth Trail Duster. I'm going to do my best to show you guys kind of all the little bumps and bruises on it. Um, I really just cleaned it up, so I tried not to cover anything up. I just wanted this thing to be just very original. So we'll check it out here. Here's the grill. Grill and bumpers are in really great shape um, you know if you look down in here there's little stuff kind of like this going on just just sort of typical just a little bit more on that side hood is, I mean, just about as perfect as it could get, I think. Pretty sure it's all original glass. I've had one of these trucks before, and it's hard to get this sort of centerpiece when you do replacements, so pretty sure that's all original. So here's a goober that happened at some point, probably one of the bigger paint defects. Looks like something fell on it. Um, there's a little thing going on there. Um, and, and I mentioned it before, but there were running boards on this thing. So around the wheel wells, um, running boards and kind of some mud flaps that I took off that I didn't really care for. That. I mean, most of the any sort of defects are down low on this thing. So, there's like some of the bigger issues from removing the uh, running boards you can see kind of the hole that was there and just some of the paint kind of got eaten away at I mean, these tires are brand new, and the wheels are brand new also. Um, the What was on it wasn't original, so I decided to go with something that looked kind of original. Um, I believe it came with some slot mag style, and I just thought the BFGs were cool. Always good call, 33, 1050s. There's some kind of wheel well shot for you. No, didn't do anything to it. No undercoating or anything. But you cleaned it up. Um, I believe the top has never been re removed. And kind of by looking at this gasket, I think it's fairly clear. Again, this is all original stuff. On the top, I think the the real telltale is uh, this here, right? That would be cut, and that would be cut if it was ever uh, removed. So checking out the interior real quick. I mean, this is, I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, all this is original. The seats are flawless. Um, you know, a little bit from getting in and out of the truck here. Um, but original carpet. This is kind of a, I don't know, some corrosion or something that happened with the original paint. Um, and you can see kind of the dash is 
just aged. Now you'll see the dash and the glove box are different colors. That's his, this is uh, plastic. That's a vinyl and they age differently and they're very typical of these trucks. Again, I have another one of them, same thing. I've seen a bunch of them. Headliner is perfect. Factory roll bar, pretty cool. Console in great shape also. Looks like there's a little bit of plastic missing down there on the speakers, but the radio works good. This is not the original radio. I'm sure you guys saw that but it's kind of a period correct cassette player, which I think is kind of cool. Um, I love this. This is the original spare Goodyear Tracker AT. This back here, again, just left it untouched, kind of faded here on some of the black. See a little bit of surface rust there. This is fiberglass here, so it's aged differently than um, the, paint, the rest of the paint. So let's see if I can kind of... All this stuff works great. need a new shock I believe um, so you can see the tailgate I mean that's pretty pretty flawless this is really cool this is the uh, original um, roof removal instructions it takes you through all that and then there's after you pull it off you're supposed to put these gaskets on and all its original Still in the bag, never been opened. I had to replace the starter. That's the original starter. Let's see. Kind of shrunk it out on the other side. Looks about the same. Again, this is kind of some of the goobers from pulling those running boards off. Mirrors are in great shape. And that is my very original 1979 Plymouth Trail Duster.